we're going to present to you an inspiring story of an individual who wants to bring renewable energy solutions to Indispur. This innovator made the solar lamp a vehicle not just for electricity, but for education and independence. Our chosen social entrepreneur is Harish Tende, a man who wants to spread a light. He did a research and visited some of the rural areas across the world without electricity. This started when he realizes that it would be useless to write his own thesis purely on a research basis without having any real action. During the trip, he saw a lot of poverty and darkness. When he came back, he decided to live in a place where there is no electricity present and to see the challenges of living in these kinds of area and to look for possibilities to improve through technologies. Here are the following awards and recognition of Arish Hande and Selco India. Selco India, under the leadership of Arish Hande, has won the Ashden Award for Sustainable Energy 2005 and Accenture Economic Development Award for 2005. In year 2005 also, he was awarded the world's leading green energy award from Prince Charles. In 2007, Selco India again won the Ashton Award, this time for Outstanding Achievement in Energy Sector. Hande was named the Social Entrepreneur of the Year 2007 by Schwab Foundation for Social Entrepreneurship. In 2008, Hande was chosen by Business Today as one of the 21 Young Leaders for India 21st Century. In 2011, he was awarded the prestigious Ramon Magsaysay Award for his pragmatic efforts to put solar power technology in the hands of the poor through his social enterprise, Selco India. For the information of everybody, Ramon Magsaysay Award is actually widely considered to be Asia's equivalent of the Nobel Prize, consists of a certificate, a medallion, and a cash prize of $50,000. Hyundai planned to use the cash award to provide capital to poor, young entrepreneurs, and encourage them to replicate Selco in different parts of India and the world. Harish Ande also was awarded Karnataka Rajat Sabha Prashasti in 2011 with the government of Karnataka. In 2013, the trustees of University of Massachusetts awarded him the Doctorate of Humanity Letters. He and his company have received many national and international awards, including the reputed Zaid Future Energy Prize in 2018 and the Skull Award for Social Entrepreneurship 2018. He did a research and visited some of the rural areas across the world without electricity. This started when he realizes that it would be useless to write his own thesis purely on a research basis without having any real action. During the trip, he saw a lot of poverty and darkness. When he came back, he decided to live in a place where there is no electricity present and to see the challenges of living in these kinds of area and to look for possibilities to improve through technologies. After exploring and experiencing of living in such poor and remote areas, he visited more places with the same situation using his scholarship money. He talks to people whom he can possibly be support, or people who can give him funds to start up his own concept. After a lot of visiting in rural areas and other countries, he understands more about the way poor lives and observe the dynamics of their lives and their income-generating activities. After those moments, in 1995, Hyundai and Nashville decided to form Selco. Nashville is Hyundai's friend. He's a co-founder of Selco India. Mr. Williams is a solar energy pioneer who has promoted solar power applications around the world since 1988. Professor Jose Martin and John Duffy and Dr. Bill Berg. According to Harish Hande, these were the three persons who pushed him to change his way of thinking, from technology to socio-economic aspect. Three of them influenced him to create Selco in the form it is today. Based on his interview, he wants some changes in this world, in the workplace, and in his country. In this world, he wanted to remove the boundaries that we have created. He believes that we are all the same, irrespective of the country we lived in and the class we belong to, no caste systems and any discriminations among each other. In his interview, he differentiated poor and the rich, wherein in India, classically, they lived on the subsidies of the poor, 
the poor subsidize the rich. Like you don't pay market salaries to maid servants, you don't pay market salaries for the drivers. He also stated the one scenario in the podcast interview that he feels unfair and unjust into some circumstances, such as if he did a PhD on a sugar cane, he will be called an expert of sugar cane. But a farmer who has been growing sugar cane for 40 years will never be called an expert because he doesn't have a PhD. He said that in India, the emphasis is misplaced. That's because of the lack of inclusiveness of the poor into all areas of society, which has led to confusion between intellectual poverty and financial poverty. They are two different things, according to Hande. In the workplace, he would like to stop access to the internet for eight hours a day because the younger generations feels that more solutions are found on the net rather than on the ground. He would rather wish younger generations to go out and talk to people for better understanding of things. In his country, India, they need to ensure that farmers get the respect that is their due. They are the ones who have made India self-sufficient in the food production. Because of these changes that Hande wants and his realizations, living with rural remote areas where there is no electricity present, he decided to form Selco in partnership with his dearest friend, Mr. William Nashville. So here's a brief background what Selco India is and how it helped in this sport. Selco Solar Private Limited Company is a social enterprise established in 1995 provides sustainable energy solutions and services to underserved households and businesses. It was conceived in an effort to dispel three myths associated with sustainable technology and the rural sector as a target customer base. The poor cannot afford sustainable technologies, the poor cannot maintain sustainable technologies, and social ventures cannot be run as commercial entities. Harish Sunday and Sako India give the poor a chance to change their lives by making them as partners to help them have an economic and social stability. They also help people from their local areas to have a permanent job for them in order to survive. Come out with a solution that not only benefits that particular community, but have we come out with a process that is replicable for similar communities across the world.